Welcome to our review of Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. I've got a nice new package delivery, and inside we have some new Animal Warriors of the Kingdom action figures. So let's take a look. Right off the bat, we can say packaged very nicely, very, very tightly from Spiro Toys. So I appreciate that. This comes uh, directly from them. You could also find them, I believe, other places like Big Bad Toy Store, but. They were having a little sale, so I took advantage of that. So let's start off. We have uh, one of our ape warriors. Uh, they're more of a uh, generic uh, army builder type villain figure. Uh, and he comes with a bonus head. Then we have King Hannibal. He's a lion figure. He's also got an interchangeable head. All these figures have interchangeable heads and hands. Uh, King Hannibal comes with another soldier, so you can have his army. Uh, Genghis Khan, which I love the name. It's a, a little bit of a play on Genghis Khan. Uh, he is a tiger. I'm not quite sure what animal his swappable head is, but it's pretty amazing. And then we have the, I want to say a sheepdog looking uh, Grimes, which uh, absolutely fantastic figure. Let's take a closer look. So we have the, those are interchangeable feet for Grimes with looks like some sort of uh, ox or uh, body. And we have some interchangeable hands for Bengus Khan. A little closer look. Beautiful. Love that head. Yeah, King Hannibal's face is just, just absolutely perfect. It looks like he's regal. He's a king. And then we have the, the warrior, which is a gorilla ape with a, with a bison head and actually an interchangeable. So he comes with two swappable heads. And just a quick fly through. And let's take a look at the back of the box so you can... See some of the artwork that goes on it. And Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. Oh, by the way, this was a Kickstarter. Uh, this got their start from Kickstarter a few years ago. Uh, I backed it then. I've been a fan ever since, and I've been picking up some more figures. We have the the moose figure, because and he's not in his packaging, because uh, everyone knows the moose is loose. So he is probably one of my favorites uh, from this line. I've had him for, for a while, and now when I got the chance to pick up some more, just because I love these figures so much, I, I got that. Oh, the moose is aggressive, so I'm just going to put him away so he doesn't keep trying to get my attention. He's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, and you can see the, the weapon he's holding and the hands. They're, they're almost like clawed hands because they are animals, so they're anthropomorphic. But they don't have a normal human hand, which I thought was a really fun detail. Um, their their movement is amazing. Look at that, that head joint swivel. It's just... His arms go all the way up, uh, all the way around. So some great poses on these um, great joints. So if you get a chance, pick up some of these, play with them. Uh, if you like animal figures, anthropomorphic figures, uh, they're compatible with the G.I. Joe size. They come with all sorts of fun weapons. So highly recommend this line. And I'd say let's, uh, let's take a closer look. So I'm only going to open up one today, uh, and Vangus Khan is going to be my one because really that that head right there is uh, just probably one of the greatest head figures. So um, one of the great things about this is you can tell that these were created by toy collectors. So to open it, all you have to do is slide out the back, pop out the plastic, and that's it. The figure is free. You don't damage the box. And then if you want to display him in the box, all you have to do is pop the figure back in, pop the plastic back in, and then you can slide the cardboard in. So no damage to the box. Uh, so if you're an in-box collector or an out-of-box collector, or if you want to swap back and forth and be an in-box, out-of-box, half in, half out. Uh, if you want to swap the head out to display with a different head, lots of, lots of different options. All right, so let's take a look at these these hands a lot of these figures do use a similar body sculpt starting point but you can see like on the arms the moose has hair because i believe his original body form was an orangutan and then we have the tiger so he's got different types of hair on the arm different types of paws they've got various armor pouches it's a it's a warrior world and lifestyle so everyone's clad in armor and uh yeah these these larger of the three and three quarter inch figures i think they're probably four or five inch but they're compatible with the same three and three quarter inch line they're just larger animals because animals are all different sizes 
He's got a massive spiked club, um, probably used for opening uh, coconuts, I would imagine. I, I imagine he's a gentle giant. But standing right away, here's his extra hands. I get a little bit of fur on the end. Those look like... I think they're very similar to like the ape hands. Actually, they're very similar to what he has now with the claws. But this, this is what he's going to be displayed with. So let's pop off that. They come off really easily. Um, unlike some, some of the other figures, we have to loosen them up and really twist them off. And you feel like you're going to break it. But these ones, not so much. And yeah, look at that. Look at that snarl. That is, that is a work of art right there. And like I mentioned before, they, they stand right away. Um, so really great posability, fun faces, fun characters. Uh, really enjoying this line. I uh, can't wait to see uh, how I'm going to display them, what I'm going to come up with, how uh, these guys are now massively outnumbered. They used to be two to one. Now it's a little bit more suede, five large to two small. And Animal Warriors of the Kingdom is also coming out with a six inch line i have a bunch pre-ordered i believe later this year wave one comes out and thank you so much for watching all right have a good one that's more folks